about 7 o'clock, opening morning in Virginia. I got in here about 5.15, got up the tree, got settled about 5.15. At 6.20, two guys came in down here below me and set up 80 yards down here below me. They're over the lip of the hill here. I shined my light at them a couple times, but that didn't seem to do anything. Honestly, don't think they saw me. I didn't want to get out of my tree to go down there and tell them where I was at. So the last time I saw them, they were down the hill, 80 yards, standing on the ground with their lights on at 6.30. I think they got lost or turned around. Either way, it's two hunters sitting on the trails that I'm hunting down below me. So my morning's probably shot. Now there's a chance something could come from another direction. I've got acorns raining down all around me, but most likely I'm probably not going to see anything. I might hear some real blowing going on down here below me though. There's only one place to park, and it's only big enough for basically my truck. Those people pulled in, probably blocked me in, and then walked in here and walked around at 6.30 right before daylight. I have moved to another piece of public with my buddy Jason Red. What's up? So we're going in at Sunday evening. We can't hunt today. We're heading up into a place I checked out during turkey season. I know there's some good bucks in here. We're going to try to find something for in the morning before we switch and go to our real honey hole we're trying to get to. So we just don't want to go down in there and spook any deer this evening that we might be hunting tomorrow evening. So we're going to ease up in here and look around for a little bit. All right, second morning hunt. Jason's up the bath this morning. Found a spot yesterday to set up for this morning. We didn't have to go far. Looks like it might just uh, be far enough. There's plenty of acorns. We're only camped about a quarter mile away. We're gonna head in here in a minute and jump up the tree. I'm gonna film him this morning. Just got into the new area that we wanted to hunt. I've been waiting to hunt this place for a couple months. Really been excited and somebody's jerked the whole gate down. Where they can drive over it. Drive down through. We're just parked up here. That sucks. I've been really excited about coming in here. And then you gotta deal with National Forest gates ripped down by Yahoo's riding to where you wanted to walk a mile and a half to. So this may be, uh, this may be blown already, this hunt, before it starts. If they've been down in here messing around in vehicles down here at the bedding area, there's probably not any deer down in there, but all we can do is like walk in here and find out, so. So 
it's the second evening of Virginia bow season. It's the fourth day of my trip, but the second real evening you can hunt. Me and my buddy Jason have been walking all day around in here trying to find bucks hunting down in next to the cutovers. We couldn't find any bucks hunting down there. So we backed almost a mile back up into the uh, ridges and got up a little higher in elevation and got on some trails that are coming around the finger ridges heading down to those cutovers that we were around all day. There were a bunch of does down there we saw too. But we didn't find the bucks high. So we moved back up, but we don't have time to get in a tree stand. It's like 5.30. And acorns raining around me right now. Anyways, we're both sitting on the ground above deer trails, hoping to get a shot at one when they come around this evening if they're coming off the beds up on these ridges above us. We just did a couple of little choke points that funnels everything down. So hopefully one of us will get a shot this evening. And, uh, it's going to be exciting if anything comes by either of us because it's going to be close off the ground so it's nice and quiet this evening I should hear them coming through here I got busted. I heard that doe, second doe coming, had one doe up the hill from me about 30 yards. Heard the second one coming when it was too late. Turned the camera. Got it on her, but she was looking straight at the camera. She could see the camera arm and the camera sticking up. She came up above the trail. I was not prepared for her to come that close. She probably blew. 50 times. Take it back this way. We found a couple feed trees. So Jason's gonna go 
set up on the best feed tree down below us. And I'm going to set up at the only crossing we found, which has got a few acres under it too. But we're just going to split up the spots that we were thinking about hunting. Kind of didn't have much sign there. So which, since we've already walked in here, we're going to give these two spots a sit. There's buck droppings at, at both spots. So, I mean, it's possible either one of us to see a deer tonight. So the wind is shifting and it's changed. The wind is kind of bad for us, but hopefully it'll just die down at dark. All right. So I'm heading in for an evening hunt. What I'm gonna do, what I was doing last week, was I was trying to find acorns that were being eaten with some buck sign on them near some bedding, not that far from the road. This week I'm going first thing into a bedding area that I found earlier this year. It's an old burnover. It's three to four year old burnover. It's got plenty for them to browse on. It's head high. I had a camera here and I got a bunch of buck pictures in the daylight right here. A bunch of does. Um, the only thing is the wind kind of swirls around here and what I'm hoping is that I can get high enough in the tree that they won't wind me before uh, before they come in this evening. They're bedding somewhere in this thicket and with so many acorns I have a feeling that they didn't have to change bedding locations so they can eat acorns right there in that burnover. So it's a little clearing, a little grass field right in the middle of the burnover. It's a logging road going in there. I'm going to slip quietly up that logging road. Should be pretty quiet because it's been raining for two days. Pick a tree, get up and just cross my fingers. I'm just going to have to get lucky but I'm I'm not hunting on the edge of a bedding area. I'm hunting right in the center. But they're using it during the daylight. So I just feel like with so many acorns on the ground, you have to be right on top of them to kill them right now.
out this morning and uh, it's been real high winds all day so I got in here it's about 5 15 I wanted to get in here a little late because the wind's been switching back and forth while I was standing in my truck so I thought well if the wind's gonna switch around like that I'll go get up in the bedroom as late as I can so that they'll have less time to wind me So I'm kind of coming in this National Forest Road and there's a lot of old burnover in here. So I know there's a bunch of deer in here. So this evening's set up. It's about 4 o'clock and I'm just now getting in the tree. It's about 75 degrees so it, I had to take my time getting in here. I'm almost a mile from the truck and I'm on the downwind side of a, of a big thicket like an old burnover. And uh, I've snuck around the downwind side of it. And there's some good rubs coming along through here. And I can tell there's not any real fresh droppings right here. But I didn't look around a whole lot. I just kind of got up the tree right here. After finding a bunch of old droppings. When I say old, last week's droppings. Right here on the ground around this tree. There's some good fresh rubs over the last week or so. Coming around this thicket. And I can shoot on 30 yards from the thicket on this side. And there's a real thick knoll in front of me about 50 or 60 yards and I'm hoping that there's something bedded on that knoll tonight that'll come out here and feed around the tree I'm sitting in it. This is where I'm hunting. This is the thicket behind me. This right here is the thicket in front of me. And this right here is the burnover to my left. Right.
started golfing.